good day everybody and welcome to today's tutorial so today we're going to be doing a pencil skirt the picture you saw before now so for this um, tutorial I'll be using a bust 44 a waist of 36 hips 48 shoulder 16 and the length of the gown will be 45 so the first thing I do here is to measure the half length of my um, gown that's um, if I'm cutting it half then adding the skirt to it for here I used um, 18 then plus 1 inch allowance for seam up and down because the person is busty so it's going to push it up so the next thing I do now is take my measurement points that's my bust point then my under bust and of course the waist so right here the next thing I'm doing right now is to take the shoulder measurement for the shoulder I use a shoulder of 16 so 16 into 2 is um, 8 then I added half inch allowance then for the depth of the um, armhole I simply do my shoulder divided by 2 which I'm usually used to and it works very well for me every other person have their own different method but that is my method and then as you can see I came up came in by half an inch to give my shoulder a curve so that the armhole won't be bulgy as you can see and, um, the neck of the shoulder of the dress the neck is not really a low neck so it's a bit high but not a total neck so for the um, width I'm using a four and a half inch and then for the depth I'm using a four inch four inches allowance so what I'm going to do now is just to slide like a canoe neck yeah a canoe neck as you can see I uh, will drop um, a tutorial on how to get different neck curves and depths so for now let's continue and then the next thing I'm doing now is um, I'm going to be taking the nipple to nipple point of my um, dress or my gown and that's because we need this for the dart input. So I'm going to take a um, 5 inch down so I'm sewing in by half an inch so it will give us 4.5 inch which is the standard measurement uh, for the standard dart measurement for this particular size as well. I'm going to drop the description of, on how to get your chart measurement for your bust down below and then the next thing I'm going to be doing now is to impute my measurement for the bust of 44 44 into 4 is um 11 inches and then I'm going to add my 1 inch for the dart I am taking from both sides which is that we don't run short and I'm going to take 2 inch allowance for the same I'll go down to my underboss. My underboss is 36. 36 into um, 2 is um, 18. 18 into 2 again is 9. So I'm going to put my 9 inch there. Add my 1 inch for the same. And also 2 inch allowance. So I'm taking it down just like that. And that is it. So the next thing I'm going to be doing now is to trim it off. So you can see the way I'm trimming. I'm not going to trim everything totally off because I need to, you know, place the front on the back to get the back measurement. So there I am folding for the back measurement. Pardon my video, please. There's a little disruption while filming this. But I hope you understand what I'm doing. So what I'm doing now is taking one inch allowance for zip. The reason I'm using one inch allowance is because I am not going to be um, lining this particular dress. So I'm just going to sew all through like that. So I use one inch allowance since we're not adding seam allowance for lining on the back. So place the front on it just as you can see. The next thing I'll be doing is I'll be going in by half an inch very close to the under boss this is to give us our zip effect so our zip doesn't bulge at the front at the back rather so for the depth of the um pack i'm taking two inch allowance because it's not going to be too up as well and then i'm trimming the neck then i'm taking the shoulder trimming all together and then i'm going this way the reason why i'm not trimming the armhole from the beginning is because i'm going to sew the dots when you sew the dots you might run short too if you already trimmed it off so after sewing it that that is when I'm going to trim the armhole measurements so now I'm trimming the other side 
of the gown. Sorry for this disruption. Like I said, my camera was manipulating itself, not me. <laughs> so I'm trimming the side right now. Exactly, so I'm not trimming everything. So when I'm done, I will do a proper trimming on the armhole. So now I'm cutting the dart. Now see what I'm going to be doing. I'm not cutting the dart all through. You can cut it all through if you can actually figure it out. But I prefer doing it this way so I don't misplace any pieces of my fabric. And as you can see, I think we're done with the bodies. Now I'm moving over to the down part of the gown. That's the skirt part of the gown. I already dropped um, a description on how to draft a proper um, pencil skirt. So it's exactly the same way. Just that now you're adding the top bodies to it. I also dropped it, um, a tutorial on how to draft a basic bodies. But this one we're using a princess um, bodies. That is why I have to do it from the beginning. That the princess that sorry so that says you can go back to my channel you see on the place where I drafted um, a proper and a basic pencil skirt the same procedure you don't have to add anything to it that's just it so here I am going to take the length of the skirt you know for the full length of this gown is 45 and already we've taken 40 17 inches out of it so what you need to do now is to measure 17 down to where 45 is and then you mark then i'm adding two inch allowance to make it on um, 47 that's for seam up and down i'll be folding it down by one and a half i'll be taking the up by half an inch so the next thing you do now is to look for your um hip line the hip line for this particular dress is 25 so what i just did is minus 17 from it and then i take the remaining one down to 25 26 and you mark and then i added my um what's it called my dart for it so the dart i use for the up is five so i bring down the five here as well so that it to be equal by seaming and then i went in by half an inch on the waistline so i have a proper zip effect and then Mark my hip line, my hip allowance, and then I mark down to my um, the down of my girl, as you can see. And now we're going over to the sleeve. So we have a change of sleeve for this particular dress, of which I will put uh, this. I will describe the sleeve as we go. We're doing uh, a sleeve like a normal short sleeve, and then we're adding a ball. At the bottom of it so for this the length of this sleeve is 17 that's from where the ball is going to start from in 17 then I mark and then um, I come down and take my the measurement of my run um, sleeve as you can see I'm using a 8 inch allowance that I'm using 16 but the person with of that has this dress is a bit bigger than a normal size so we're using a um, 8 inch allowance then I added um, I think I added 2 inch allowance for seam or 1 and a half I guess then I'm stepping down by 6 or 7 inches so I to have a proper armhole so how to get the up of my um, who does a bicep? I simply add one inch allowance, one inch to the already under um, sleeve, round sleeve. Then add your um, seam allowance to it. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Here we have eight inch allowance, as you can see. So, what I did for the up is I added one inch allowance to it to make it nine inch allowance, nine inch before adding my seam allowance to it. So that one side doesn't look bigger or one smaller than the other. You get. Then what you do now is you curve your arm. Yes. This is a proper basic sleeve draft. What do you do next? You trim, trim, trim. <laughs> 
This is my best part while sewing, trimming. I love cutting a lot. As after drafting, the cutting part is mwah, it's very sweet. But make sure you don't cut when you don't know what you, you've drafted. Oh, eh -eh. <laughs> and then I'm going to be notching here so we know the midpoint why so when and now the ball part of our wow. mm. you know sleeve so it's very simple to do what i'm just going to be doing here is i'm going to be doing pleating why some people can do um a circle like um 360 circumference circle me i'm going to be doing a pleating on it so i can get a very nice effect on the sleeve So I'm just folding my fabric as you can see so I can get equal measurements and it makes it easier for me to fold everything all together and just trim and then divide. So I think we're done folding, just trying to arrange it properly so we don't make mistake on any side. So now I'm still arranging all. Oh, you can see the fabric is a little bit disturbing and rumpled, so I'm just gonna arrange it everything very well before I trim so I don't grow short of any part. So I'm taking down for my sleeve from the down ball. I'm taking nine, I'm taking actually, I'm taking seven inch allowance, so I'm adding um, um, two inch for it for the seaming and everything exactly. So I'm just cutting down and that is it I think we are done with this part so what I will be doing next from here now is um, I'm going to be you know defining it into two and that is all about the sleeve so if you love this tutorial please kindly subscribe to our youtube channel and kindly like this video because the more you like this video the more people will see it and also you are helping your friends as well that you don't know and uh, please click on the notification button and also go to my channel and watch the other videos that you need to watch for you to know thank you very much for watching this video god bless you and i love you plenty much. Bye. Mwah.